If you are a fan of Formula 1, you might have seen drivers getting weighed after the races and cars going to the weigh bridge during qualifying and practice sessions. In this video, we will exactly explain what is the 2022 Formula 1 minimum weight requirement. Let's get started. Formula 1 cars are heavier than you might think. The latest version of the F1 technical regulations describes weight requirements in Article 4. The mass of the car, without fuel, must not be less than 798 kilograms at all times during the competition. 798 kilograms is equal to 1,759 pounds, more than the weight of a fully grown male grizzly bear. Now, what about the weight of the driver? In Article 4.6.2, we see that the reference mass of the driver will be added to the mass of any ballast designated for this purpose, and at no time during the competition, May this be less than 80 kilograms. To understand what this means, we need to understand what is a ballast. A ballast is a small but dense weight, typically made out of tungsten which is attached to the car. Article 4.4 describes ballast rules related to driver weight. We see that the ballast must be clearly identified and be attached securely to the survival cell and sealed by the FIA. So putting it all together, we see that the driver weight plus ballast weight must be greater than 80 kilograms. And we also see that the driver weight plus ballast weight plus car weight, excluding fuel, must be greater than 798 kilograms. Note that the driver weight includes the driver's equipment. Now you might be wondering, why have a ballast attached to the seat? The 80 kilogram minimum weight requirement was introduced in the 2019 season. Prior to this season, the only measure that was taken was the car's total weight. This put heavier drivers at a disadvantage, since lighter drivers could place a ballast strategically on the car to optimize balance and setup, while complying with the minimum total car weight requirement. This is why you might have observed that drivers prior to 2019 focused their nutrition and exercise plans to have lean muscle rather than bulky muscle. After this rule change, Drivers have more freedom as to how they can keep their body and still be competitive in the race. Now let's look at how the FIA enforces the minimum weight requirements. After each free practice session and during the qualifying session, drivers are randomly asked to come into the weigh bridge which is positioned at the entry of the pit lane. Here the total weight of the car is checked to ensure that there's no cheating. On race day, more accurate checks are performed. As soon as a race is complete, the cars enter what is known as park ferme conditions and cannot be touched. The driver with his equipment is weighed immediately after the race. F1 drivers are weighed after each race for two reasons. The first is to find out how much weight they lost during a race. The second is to make sure that they and their cars are not below the minimum weight requirements stipulated in the rules. The idea here is that the FIA knows the ballast weight of each car prior to the Grand Prix. The driver weight calculated after the race is added to the ballast weight and must be greater than 80 kilograms. In addition to the driver weight check, all fuel is emptied out of the car and the car weight is calculated. The idea here is that the car weight plus ballast weight plus driver weight must be at least 798 kilograms. Hope this video helped you learn about Formula 1 minimum weight requirements. Thanks for watching, make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content. If you would like to support this channel, check the links in the description below.